Hello, and welcome to the special Christmas edition of Knife Banner Live. Today, we're spreading some joy and showing you some great stocking stuffers that you can get at Blade HQ. So make yourself a cup of hot cocoa, grab your favorite blanket, and snuggle up next to that fireplace playing on your TV. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And now, here's Zach. How pleasant, thank you, Jamie. How's it going, everybody? And welcome to our EDC Stocking Stuffer live show. Here's the thing, guys. Christmas is right around the corner. We thought we'd have a little bit of fun and pick some of our favorite stocking stuffers. So we've got a couple guys from Blade HQ that have gotten together and made each other secret stocking stuffers full of rad knives and EDC items. So this should be a fun one. Uh, we're also gonna do an epic giveaway at the end of this thing. We're gonna hear a little bit more from Jamie. We got a lot of balls in the air. We're, it's either gonna be a huge success or this whole stream is just gonna crash and we're gonna find out. <laughs> So, um, and we got Graham in the comments. So if you guys have some pocket checks for me, tell me what you want for Christmas. What knife you want for Christmas? You want a PS5? You want a Buck 110 Auto? I don't know, just let me know what you, what you want and uh, we'll get a couple shout outs going. So I made a stocking for Taylor. Taylor, how's it going, buddy? It's going good. Good, Are man. You, you stoked? Yes, super you, stoked. You feeling that live electricity? 100%, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Awesome, okay, so I uh, I made you a stocking, okay. and I hope that you enjoy it. I tried to base it off the things that I know that you enjoy in life, okay. but I could have complete, got it completely wrong. You're we good. don't hang out enough, buddy. You're good, 100%, we okay. need to. Okay, cool, all right, okay. so let's, let's jump into this thing. Okay. Ooh. Do you know what this is already? I, I know this company. Okay, okay. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, this is good. You this like that? Good. So, tactile turn. Tactile turn? Mm, these. I, I know that you like a good pen. I do. And I know you like your materials as well. So, I pulled some papers for you because, guys, everything on the table is a surprise. So, we made sure we had some papers printed because we don't know what we're getting. We don't know prices or anything off the top of our head. So, no. tactile turn pen in, I believe that one's in copper. This yes. one's in copper, for yes. sure. Okay, cool. You can just flip them all around. Flip, flip them all around. around. It's fine. It's okay. Fine. Okay. Let's see. It writes super good. Nice. I like it. That's, <laughs> that's what matters. That's what matters. Plus, just that. Oof. That's so good. These ones are $99. It looks like copper. And length 4.25 inches. So it's like a medium sized pen. Yeah. Yeah. This is I a like good that. one. Yeah. yeah. I, li I like these lengths too. They don't they don't get in the way. Oh, see, I didn't know that. That's good yeah. to know. Because I know you've got some Pete, you had a Pete's Pirate Life. Oh, yeah. Because of course oh, yeah. you have to, right? Oh, By Big Idea Designs, great stuff. Mm -hmm. So I don't expect this to replace it, but I thought you'd at least enjoy it. Oh, for sure. Perfect. The, like, I'll, I'll fidget with it <laughs> for ages. Okay. Let's. Ooh, light. You do know me. You I, know dude, me. I tried. I tried. And I, I got it in matching colors because I know you're Ooh. a matchy match guy. I, I do kind of. Yes, okay. A little, okay. a little bit too much, <laughs> more than I like. These ones are good. I like this because it's long and like this is this is good. Yeah. Plus, and it's, you usually carry, a kind of, you know, like a huge knife, but I feel like you're always kind of a bigger knife. Mm -hmm. So I try to mm -hmm. find stuff that would give you more pocket economy. For economy, sure, right? for yeah. sure. Because one of the things is the, the thickness of them. Yeah. For me, super thick things ain't gonna happen. These go for like 80 bucks. Uh, 210 lumens. It's got 90 hours on that. I, that's that's nice. That's pretty sweet. And who makes? I can't. It's a new brand. So, uh, four sevens. Four sevens. That's four right. sevens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That that'll go in the pocket yeah. for sure. Now you guys know that I'm a big Phoenix guy, but this new four sevens brand mm -hmm. we just got in, and there's some interesting stuff that they're putting out. So, mm -hmm. um, that's why we. I thought yeah. you enjoyed it. So you're gonna have oh, to give yeah. us a, a a long term review here oh, after yeah. you've worn it a bit. Plus these ones, these ones remind me of like. Uh, first responder lights. The, the oh yeah, the, like the thin ones. Oh yeah, and I like those. I, I okay. I've had to use those a couple cool. of times. Okay, I I feel like I'm just reaching randomly. <laughs> yeah, you might be. Okay, so there's. Well, I don't know. Don't don't turn that one over yet. We've got a couple jokes in these there. bags, so okay. there should be. You should feel like two cardboard box things in there. Like, yes, that? there should be one more of those. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is kind of dangerous reaching into a bag. That's why. That's why I did this thing. so that there wasn't a fixed okay. plate in your hand. Oh. Do you know what that is? I think I do. Okay. Are these the the Boker like uh, steak knives? They're the Quaken steak knives. I actually looked at these the other day did and you? thought about snagging it. <laughs> I love. Oh, this is nice. It's okay. Sixty nine ninety nine. One reason to get them. It's got a fourteen C eight N. Steel. Yeah, it's a, it's a good kitchen steel. Yeah, That's the one thing with kitchen, kitchen knives. Steel. It's you're not gonna see like M390s in the kitchen oh. regularly, 
But you do want like something that's going to be you know corrosion resistant. It's going to yeah. hold an edge. Plus, it's a steak knife, so you aren't you aren't getting. I like this. This yeah. feels good. The weight is awesome, but also, I mean, it's a Quaken. Like, yeah. See, so I know you, you like, can't. I know you like cooking knives. I do. Right. And I so do. I was like, when I saw these, I was like, bro, these are Quaken mm -hmm. steak knives. Mm -hmm. Here's the other thing with this. Really, at the end of the day. This is a quick and fixed blade. Oh yeah. Let's be honest. Like oh. you could you could make a leather sheath for this. I I, I might. <laughs> I legitimately might because I I like my fixed blades. I like my like right around this size fixed blade. Yeah. And I like them to lay flat. And this one like I get the right sheath on that. That's laying super flat. So kind of a you could either EDC a fixed uh, uh, a a kitchen knife steak knife mm -hmm. <laughs> or mm -hmm. you just got a couple steak knives now. I thought you might enjoy that. I I definitely do. <laughs> right on. Okay. So, so my thinking with this guys was uh, with this with the steak knives is it did come in a bigger box, not like perfect stocking stuffer material. Um, however, right, I was able to wrap them up so they did fit in the stocking. Yeah. But they do come in a nice big box if you're interested yeah. in those. Okay. Okay. So now, now I just got you. There, now at this point, there's just a couple things in there that I I thought you would think were okay. maybe funny. Okay, I'm going. Okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Pull the book out. So Pull I assume this out. is this is the yes. uh, <laughs> magic show. Ah, uh, this is good. So mm -hmm. you guys may not know this, but uh, Taylor is essentially just David Blaine. Like he, he basically just like reaches into uh, like alternate dimensions and makes magic happen. And so I figured I'd get him a real professional magic kit. I think there's That's a magic cool. wand in there oh, as well. All right. I think. Yeah. Do you, do you have a magic wand yet? I don't. Have okay, a see magic now wand. you're a real sorcerer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for cool. Sure. <laughs> I can I can do all of my my uh, disappearing and all the fun stuff. Love it. Okay. Pull a rabbit out of a hat now, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I might have to take one out of that flat brim of yours. There we go. <laughs> Are there more things in here? This seems. You know, here's the thing: is can you have a stocking without a bunch of like junk food in it? So I just shoved it full <laughs> of candy. Is really what Let's it is. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so Taylor, here's the question. Yeah. Um, two questions. One question: Would you ever do a magic trick on camera for us? Not right now. I'm not gonna put you on the spot right now. Okay. We're live. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But would, but would you be willing to? I definitely would be willing. Because I want to do some I impressive know... card magic, dude. Like, thank you. I yeah. appreciate that. I, yeah. I'd be okay with it. Okay. But I'd have to choose the right one. Okay. That's, cool. that, that's where I'm at with it. Guys, let us know in the comments if you want to see uh, Taylor do some magic tricks. Maybe yeah. even with that new enchanted deck that I bought him, which was I'm sure very expensive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can see it's premium quality. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Out I of like every... how it's how it's smaller than my entire hand. That way like... you can hide it easier. Yeah, I right? can. Exactly. <gasps> you can palm things easier. <laughs> All right. So out of the EDC items that you pulled out of the stocking, Ooh. what what are you kind of stoked on? I'm stoked about all of them. This is rough. I okay. Mm. I definitely, so I don't own a Quaken yet. So I don't own any of the, any uh, of the Quakens. Okay. And I was looking at these earlier. So like 100% stoked on this. Okay, okay. But also like I've been needing a new light, like oh, not, not a new okay. one, but yeah. like I want to expand my light collection. I have two, I want, I want to get more in there. This is one I was totally looking at. And then the pen, crush knit, copper, Every, everything. Oh, dude. So I did. Good. So I did okay then. Oh, you did good. All right. I am. I am hard to shop for. Oh, good. So I, but wanna... I got it right. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Um. Well, I've got a stocking here. I don't know what's yeah. in this either. I, I made one for you. Okay. So I'm gonna reach in here. Now here's here's the fun thing about EDC items and stockings and stuff is with EDC items it's like like you were saying like I have there's like a lot of stuff in here. Uh, mm -hmm. When you're talking about EDC items, uh, it's like I have a couple flashlights, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And it is this thing that's like, you know, which flashlight will I carry today? Which knife will I carry mm -hmm. today? Which pen will I carry yeah. today? And I'll be 100% honest, I switch my knives out a lot, but my mm -hmm. in-pocket stuff I don't switch oh. out. Though. Oh, for sure. Yeah. That's... A... Yeah. Okay, I think I feel a knife and I feel a flashlight. Okay, I'm gonna pull a knife. Oh, dope! Yeah. So Burgundy, C Burgundy Micarta CEO, mm -hmm. super stoked. Let me, find, let me pull the paper up on this thing. It's gonna be the last one, I think. Boom. Okay. So, with this one here, uh, we've got 7.6 inches overall, three inch blade. Uh, it's got D2 steel, because uh, this is a Blade HQ exclusive. And it's got that burgundy micarta, it comes in at 65 bucks. Yeah. Dude. It's super good. This is cool. This is really, really cool. So, I usually, so I've, I've wanted to get a CEO because mm -hmm. all my Carhartts have a pen pocket. Yeah. Boom. Perfect. Dude, that's actually so, perfect. The reason why I got you that one though is because I know you've been crushing on boot knives. And yes. you've been you've been wanting to go for it. Oh. And these are wicked good boot knives. Because of the clip being so big, yeah. it like will be able to go on a larger material. And I've boot carried a CEO. Yeah. And for me, the CEOs aren't the easiest to actuate with the thumb. Correct. I like doing it with the left hand, like spider flicking it a bit. 
left hand spider flick? Yeah. Are you a lefty? No. Not even. I'm not even going to try. I'm going to cut okay. myself. <laughs> okay. But I like doing that. And for me, sticking it in the left boot makes yeah. it so I'm able to grab it and like have it be that secondary blade. Cool. Right on. That's. And my carta, so. Yeah, I'm 100% going to boot carry this thing. Super sweet. Thanks, dude. No problem. That's awesome. Um, and like I said, Blade HQ exclusive, D2 Steel. If you're looking to get a CEO, we have a couple exclusives on the website right now that are pretty rad. All right, uh, let me see what else I can, I felt. I know I felt a flashlight. There it is. Oh, that's dope. So this is the, I don't. I know it's an Olight, but I don't know mm -hmm. which one it is. This is the Olight Perrin Mini. It's a rechargeable, Headlamp, flashlight, in desert tan. Mm -hmm. Whoa, 1,000 lumens for max output. Mm -hmm. And you get 1,000 lumens for about 85 minutes. Dude, this yeah. is super rad. Yeah. Holy uh, moly. The, the the reason why I got that for you, because I know you're working on your van. Correct, um, yeah. And uh, that one, it has a magnetic bottom for the charging. And you can like slap it on the metal that you're working on and get like a different angle for the light so then you don't have to have like your hands dirty yeah. on something and yeah. then have to be having a light either in your mouth or on the glasses or anything Dude, like that. Dude, I love that. That is super rad. Yeah. Right on. The, the clip on this is super interesting too. Mm -hmm. Have you carried one of these before? Not one of those, but I've carried an Olight and I love that recurve clip because huh. I, I just slide it on my hat. Like if I'm working. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. So you can yeah. do like that. Yeah. Oh, Dude, yeah. this is actually really cool. Yeah. So I had mentioned in uh, the last live that we did, I think it was WOW, mm -hmm. maybe? I mentioned that I was like looking for flashlight suggestions yeah. and a bunch of people had made flashlight suggestions. Mm -hmm. So. Um, now I've got a f new flashlight to try out, guys. So I love my Phoenix, but I am gonna give this Olight a good run. And this one goes for $69.95 on the website. A thousand lumens for, is that right, for 85 minutes? It's Holy bright. Moly. Olights are bright. They That's do good super stuff. super bright. Right on. Cool. Damn. Olight. And it's got a magnetic charger, so it magnetic. probably comes with a special mm -hmm. cord or something like yeah. that? Yeah. Oh, okay. I've never, I've never yeah. messed with Olights before. Yeah, I, I just put the light in there. I didn't want to get all the cords in there. I thought that oh, would be confusing. You. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, and then finally, for my EDC items at least, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, I know what this is. Yeah, field notes. Yeah, always, always with the field notes. So this particular one is the mile marker. Oh, dude, this one's legit. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. another one for the van because it's got the the road signs and yes, things. Yes, exactly. Wow. So this is a field notes mile marker series. Uh, these this three pack goes for twelve ninety five on the website. Guys, I'm a big notebook guy. Um, I only started carrying a phone like three years ago. That was like when I the first time that I ever started carrying a phone. It was actually for this job. That's good on you. <laughs> that I started I, carrying I, a phone. So for years and still to this day, I carry notebooks with me um, because this is I call it my brain. Like I've only oh. ever lost one notebook, and I was like lost for a month. Like I didn't. I was like uh, I don't know what I have to do for anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I, I wait as long as I can to change my notebook because yeah. I know there's something in there in the yeah. garbled mess that I have put in yeah. that I'll need two days after. Well, and the thing I actually will usually carry two, like the old one and the new one for like two weeks after, and like I'll try to transfer stuff and all of that. I like so I, I'm always doing measurements or mm -hmm. needed parts from the parts house or mm -hmm. have some idea about why we exist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need somewhere to write all that down. So, dude, this is super cool. Yeah. Super, super cool. I will probably turn this one into a log book for my van as I'm yes. working on my van. Yes. This is just going to live in mm -hmm. my van. So this Perfect. is super red. Uh, if you guys don't know, I bought a 1979 GMC van and it's beautiful. And uh, yeah, so that's that's the van project we're cur I'm currently working on. Um, sweet. Okay, before I dive, finish my stocking real quick, we've got a good number of... Uh, so uh, call outs here. Nathan Miller wants a heretic manticore for Christmas. Ooh. I'm with you. <laughs> those manticore, what is it, the E's? The manticore E's. Oh, we got some of those with those some flamed nice. hardware. Oh, those are pretty. Those are so hot. Yeah. And then um, the uh, NBA taco stand. Man, every time just the best usernames. Uh, he wants a Victorinox Blade HQ exclusive Lo uh, Crazy Wolf, the Loho oh, Lobo yeah, yeah, Loco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and let's see, DC98 says, I'm wanting a smaller knife around 200 to $250. Can't figure out exactly what I want. Any ideas? We have a lot of stockings to go through, but DC98, you guys who are watching live and you guys who are going to be watching this video later, put in uh, some suggestions for DC98 so that he can come up with some good small knife suggestions. Uh -huh. um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Judah Schoenheide? Schoenheide? I might have messed your name up. Sorry, buddy. Um, he said he got married. 
Can I get a shout out for cutting my wedding cake with my Spyderco shaman? <laughs> of course, bro, congratulations. That's awesome, Man. that's super awesome. So uh, Judah, congratulations, and also super rad that you cut your wedding cake with your shaman. That's, that's awesome. awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Sweet, all right, uh, now last bits of the stocking here. I'm just gonna do this, guys, and then Taylor, not out of disrespect, but I'm probably just gonna swipe no, this to the side. No, go right so ahead. it's not a mess later. Yeah. Yes. Oh, what? Yes. Okay, so you guys know how I was talking about my GMC van? There it is. <laughs> Literally, this is this is my exact van, paneled out and everything. This one has a sunroof. This mm. one's a little more baller than uh, than mine is. But then you just gotta put one in. Yeah, I'm just gonna put one in now. Just have since to I have in. this. So if you guys have been wanting to see my van project, uh, here it is. <laughs> and uh, thanks, dude. No super problem. rad. Super, super rad. <laughs> All right. Well, like I said, guys, we have got a bunch of guys from Blade HQ that have gotten together and have, uh, or not a bunch, but a couple guys from Blade HQ that have gotten together and put together some stockings. So we're probably going to have them come on here in a little while. Sounds like Jamie might be uh, in his clogging class, though. So let's check in with Jamie real quick. <laughs> Well, looks like Taylor's about to take his stake game to the next level. And Zach's new MyCarta CEO looks pretty sweet. Next up, Kurt's going to give the gift of EDC to George. But don't worry, George will be returning the favor with a stocking full of surprises. Let's see what they're getting up to. Kurt, take it away. Oh my goodness, I am so excited to be here today. George, are you excited to be here? I'm actually really excited to be here, Kurt. It's, I mean, Christmas is coming, Kurt is getting fat, and I mean... Dude, something. okay, real talk. <laughs> this sweater has a cup holder, which is super epic, but George is like, I don't know about the cup holder. It makes you look a little large, but you know what? It's the holiday season, so get hey, up I'm off fat me. too, man. Get I up mean, off my back, bro. Happiness hey, is fat. Hey, I, I have a stocking <laughs> for you, and oh. I think you should start. All right. So why don't you just dive in, man? All right, I'm gonna dive in. So first, I feel this. <laughs> Holy! I'm oh my goodness! You have not. You do not know how much I've crushed on this thing. I'm so excited, guys. This is oh. gonna be great. So in case y'all don't know, this is the Cold Steel Espada XL. Which, by the way, there is no way this knife fits in this box. <laughs> Every time I open a Cold Steel, I'm like, how in the world does this work? Woo! <laughs> That's not good. Careful. Careful. <laughs> anyway, that's a pocket sword. So yeah, two hands grip, and there's still plenty of room. I could probably get a third hand on here if I was really in a mood to do so. But like, this thing has a 7.5 inch blade, 16.75 overall. And then it's got this cool thumb disc that you can hook on your pocket and slap that thing out. Man, this thing's dope. Don't chop your finger off. Okay, I'm totally you gonna know, carry this. I hope you, you know that. You know that uh, you're gonna shoot your eye out? Yeah. Don't chop your finger off. That's what this is. Mm, this is. I knew you. I knew you'd love it, man. <laughs> That's why I got. You know, you got a big personality, and so I had to get you the big knife. Thanks, man. You know, that's that's really awesome of you. Heck yeah, dude. You're I like got the best, you. dude. All right, next up. Um, it's a box. Oh, you got me the Olight M2R Pro Warrior with the. They, believe it or not, I was totally thinking about getting you this. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. You kay. know, I just knew that you needed a little extra America in your life. Yeah, okay. This light has some serious gumption. It does... So it does 22400 Candela. So that's more than the sun, I'll have you know. And it also... Let's see, how many lumens? 1800 lumens? So yeah, like this thing... This thing will cry freedom everywhere Click it Click it on, dude. Turn it on. Ooh. Oh yeah. That thing, Better not shine it in the camera. That thing's bright. I oh, see the spot now. Yeah. Sorry, man. Didn't That's mean it spot. personally. No, you're good. Dude, this thing's sweet. That's awesome. Heck yeah, dude. Extra America. And then, a little, little, little thing. Oh, is this the nail clip? Yeah. Is this because I'm unkempt? No, dude, not at all. See, I, I personally <laughs> bought myself a nail clip, and I use it all the time. Whether it's like clipping some like fishing line or whatever, but all the time I have mine here before we get on, got to clip those nails so you don't look scary, you know? Yeah, I mean, look at that. This thing's like high tech too. I'm telling you, it is crisp, sharp. That is one of my favorite Victorinox tools. Dude, it's sweet. That's awesome. So 
Kurt. This is a funny thing. Just, it, it'll be extra funny when you open your thing. Oh, oh and, oh, I got a bunch of, a, a bunch of squirrels. <laughs> finger squirrels, dude. You just dude. slide your fingers. I gotta try these on. I'm gonna like wear these all the time. Please tell me you will. <laughs> You wanna know what the best part is? You have four finger squirrels, so you can they can help you open your knife. It's true. The they're they're little knife assistants. <laughs> Alright, ready? Everybody yes. grab a hand. <laughs> Dude, that actually works surprisingly well. I thought that was just gonna be funny and like they're kind of rubbery. They like grab the blade. <laughs> oh, it's easier yeah. to do it with them than with that. Dude, <laughs> let's think about it. You got eight little Squirrel hands grabbing that blade. I mean yeah. that I don't know if it gets better than that. Yeah, that's that's straight awesome Heck All the kids yeah. are gonna be jealous on the playground <laughs> well, George, Kurt, stay awesome. away from the playgrounds, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kurt, so I got you a stocking too. Okay, so you should you, should, you should start on that. I'm gonna board. dive in Okay All right, I gotta get my papers. This is cool. Let's see. What the heck? So that's the Sandrin Merino. So Sandrin knives are really cool because they're not made of steel, they're made of tungsten carbide. What? So once upon a time you asked me to sharpen your bug out for you and I did so, but I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get you something that's like some crazy high, like 75 Rockwell that cuts forever. So that way you never have to sharpen it. You never have to burden anyone else to sharpen it either. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, don't ask George to sharpen your knife because he will come back and say it is a burden. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this thing is really cool. Let's see. So tungsten carbide. It's a seven inch overall length, three inch blade, which is perfect for me. This is a $200 knife, guys. It's got this really cool G10. It's all milled out. It's actually very lightweight. Uh, you got this super cool milled deep carry pocket clip. Dude, I am stoked about this. This is really, really cool, man. I think you're gonna love it. Dude, thank you. That is really cool. Dude, mm -hmm. it's so thoughtful too about the sharpening. <laughs> Man, I seriously, dude, that, yep, I'm blown away. That's really cool. Okay, mm -hmm. let's see what else we got. <clears throat> Holy crap. The Olight Seeker 2. So that thing does ah! something in the ballpark of 3,000 lumens? I think. Don't look into the flashlight. <laughs> I'm not kidding. So yeah. this has three LEDs. I have three spots now. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's do some specs on this sweet beast. 3,200 lumens? Mm -hmm. It's because once I found you and you were trying to get the cool light of the evening, trying to take a picture, yeah. and then a shadow got cast, you're like, man, where'd my light go? It's so <laughs> mad. So I got you... I got you your own pocket source of really nice, cool light for the evening. Dude, this is epic. <laughs> Heck yeah. Oh my gosh. So it's rechargeable, a magnetic rechargeable base, right? Mm -hmm. Holy cow, dude. I like the rubber grip on it too. You want to know what? Mm -hmm. So I have a little Scottish Terrier and she's black fur, right? And at mm -hmm. night, if she needs to go outside, she goes out there and disappears. I literally cannot see her. <laughs> We've had to get like a little flashlight collar. Boom, dude. I'm going to freaking blind the crap out of her when she's out in the yard. Be like, hey. <laughs> There you are. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Heck yeah, man. Thank you. That's mm -hmm. so cool. Okay, what else? I don't know if I'm pulling out the right things. Are these pocket protectors? Yeah, I saw you wearing flannel a couple days ago, and I'm like, you know what? One pocket protector just isn't enough to contain Kurt's nerdiness. So oh, he's got to get two no. to put in both pockets. Dude, this is freaking epic. <laughs> I've always wanted this. Ever since I was a child, I was like, I know that those are a little bit nerdy, but I totally want one. How convenient, man. Now you got two. You wanna know what I'm gonna do? Hmm. Knife, pocket clip, pen, flashlight, and something else. All right. Maybe a candy's cane. I don't think your drink will fit there though, I'm sorry. It's okay, I got that covered. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're solid. What else? Oh my gosh. So I know you really loved your experience with the Super Tinker. It made you really happy. So I got you one. It's the Winter Magic Edition. It'll I actually, really brighten up your season. I love the Winter Magic. Dude, I look at this one all the time like, dude, that's so cute. I love it. 
I don't know how I feel about this, George, but I am willing to give it a try. And I appreciate that. You know what? I gotta be honest. Seeing Zach always carrying his and talking about how he uses it and all this other stuff, it's like, gosh, dude, do I do I need that? <laughs> like, am I missing out? So I'm stoked, man. Heck yeah, I'm gonna beat this thing. I probably won't pry with the blade. Yeah, because that, that'll get you made fun because of. the internet killed me last time <laughs> on that which is cool and uh dude this thing is sweet man let's okay so this is 56 dollars on the website Ooh, the winter magic dude i don't know if you guys can get a close-up of that but it's got all sorts of winter magic and on the back there is a deer a deer Look how cute it is, dude. This is freaking epic. Screwdriver? Heck yeah. That's, I'm one up on Zach, you know? I got the screwdriver. He He's so jealous right now. I guarantee it. Yeah. Dude, that's epic. I got some candy canes. And I mean, most stockings end up with fruit, but we're really looking out for you this season. Dude, candy and a monster juice? Dude, Pipeline mm. Punch is one of my favorites. Good. Well, I, I had a source who informed me of that. You gonna unwrap that? No, I yeah, I thought about it, and that's a bad idea. Yeah, when I was a kid, somebody's like, "Oh, I could eat a I could eat a Starburst with a wrapper on it," and they put it in. I didn't know they were unwrapping it with their tongue. I'm like, I can do it too, and I just ate it with the wrapper. <laughs> and I thought that was the trick for like four years. I can't tell you how many Starburst oh wrappers I ate. Dude, that is hilarious. Dude, what an epic. Christmas stocking. Yeah. I'm gonna push all this to the side. Dude, you know, that's this is so a, cool. This Thank is a you. really bright season, Kurt. Hey, we're gonna do a quick pocket check. Oh, what, we are? What do you got? What um, you got in your pocket? Well, I have my neck knife. Okay. It's a White River caper. And I also have the knife that I simply can't stop carrying my bug out. Dude, I feel you on that. I think I'll... I also have an SE3. I'm out of control today. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude, you gotta go hard. Yeah, it's it's very interesting what the employees carry here at work. It's definitely not your typical office. Yeah, I can't. People are walking around with some crazy stuff. <laughs> so, dude, that's awesome, man. Yeah, what, what you got? Oh, let's see. This is kind of new to my pocket. Oh, it's been on and it's very warm. <laughs> I wonder how long that's been on. So this is the Phoenix LD02. It's got a nice, cute little pocket clip. I love a pocket clip on a small light. Um, this is obsolete now. I mean, I got the freaking Seeker too. Doesn't have a cl clip though, I'm sorry. Oh, whatever. Are you kidding me? This thing is, I can't believe how crazy that light is. Okay, and then I've got my bug out with titanium, flytanium scales, which is always epic. Gotta have a bug out. This one I've got the custom engraved on the back. Love that knife. Always got it. Um, oh, I have a Cold Steel Recon Tonto. Got to carry that. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's a big, big honker. It is a honker. But it fits the hams real well. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got to carry zombies. that. Sometimes you got to carry a big knife. Speaking of big knife, I also have... Oh. I also have this Cold Steel... English back sword. It's not very sharp, but it's also very not very convenient to carry. <laughs> uh, I got this just a few days ago, and this sword is gnarly, guys. Yeah, the East India Trading Company is really looking out for you. <laughs> Don't mess, because I got a sword. So cool. Dude, that's awesome, man. I love the holiday season. It's mm -hmm. always bumping here at work, always things going on, always crazy stuff. We're all and, so tired and exhausted that everything's hilarious. Right. <laughs> exactly. Um, man, dude, this has been great. I really appreciate this stuff. I'm going to put these pocket protectors in my flannel as soon as I can. Do it. Um, dude, do you, do you smell that? It smells good. Yeah. It smells like hot chocolate? Is there hot chocolate? I don't know. I better go get some. Jamie's got some hot chocolate, maybe. Seems like something he'd do. Huh. You know, 
I don't think Kurt or George will be getting lost in the dark anytime soon. This gift exchange has been fun, but don't click away just yet. You're going to want to stick around for a special surprise. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have somewhere to be. Well, I'm here. You're here. <laughs> <laughs> that was a shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> and a mad dash, and we did it. <laughs> um, uh, well, how's, how was the hot cocoa? Oh, it was so good. I got it right here. And, you know, I didn't make it for myself. Carson made it for me. But, man, oh, very he did nice a good move. job. Very nice. Way more Carson. <laughs> cool, man. Well, um, before we get to the end of this thing, uh, and we got a sweet giveaway, uh, I made you a stocking as well. With some, with some items. And I will say right now that out of, I think, anybody at Blade HQ, Jamie is probably the hardest person to pick an EDC item for. One, he's very particular. And two, he's very minimalist. So um, we'll see how we'll see how I did. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Now, because your stuff is very small, all of your stuff is like in a bag. Okay. And then I have your like toy underneath that. So I'll, just pull the bag out. I'll try and do or, it. Or maybe just go into the bag. I don't know. Also, yeah. I feel bad because I actually didn't make a stocking, so. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I already got one. We're good. Okay. Uh, I have a bag. Here's the bag. I think I'm doing it. Oh my. Oh, oh boy. Is, am I doing this right? Yes, you're doing it right. Yeah, so yeah. I got a huge candy cane, which mm. is, I think, the most exciting I've Thing I've seen in a while, so that's Perfect. good. Glad is this excited. like a buttermint candy? Cane? I actually have no idea. That that would be dope. For I what. just threw it in. A bunch of candy. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna start with the first thing that fell out. Uh, this looks like a Gerber. It is. Tool it, of some it's sort. a Gerber mullet. Now, here's the other thing: is I didn't print you any papers because I forgot. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best here, guys. I don't know what anything costs. I don't even know the names of everything. So here, here's the thing: is I can I can give a rundown on this stuff. So Gerber mullet. So here's the cool thing with the Gerber mullet that I think you will actually want to carry this thing and actually like it. So you have the uh, you have the the hook on it, on mm -hmm. the side of it, right? So you can hook it to your pants or whatever. Mm -hmm. And often, especially when you're in um, when you're in uh, gym shorts mode, right? You'll have like stuff in your pockets and you'll, and you'll like shuffle around and be like, oh, I can't get to this or that, right? So I was thinking if you can hook your keys on your pocket, one less thing to shuffle around. Nice. Now it's got a Phillips head screwdriver on it just for, you know, whatever random stuff we need on shoots. Then on the pry side, you have that pry that I think will work, and I actually have tried it out, that will work to take the foot off the bottom of a camera tripod, right? Of all the things I do with a screwdriver, it's removing tripod shoes. The most, is the right? Most, exactly. Is the, yeah, definitely the most I do with a screwdriver. And then kind of fittingly, because it's a Gerber, um, it also, that pry end also has kind of a sharpened ins like insert for like cutting packages or okay. whatever. Okay, is that supposed to be like a wire stripper? Yeah, something like that. However, as we know, Gerber always zip ties their knives in. Mm. So when you're taking knives out of packages, it's always scary cutting it with a knife because you don't want to cut the knife because we're taking knives out to show you guys. And so I think, and, I've, and I did I actually did try it and it does work. So you can get the little edge underneath the zip tie, pop, and it'll pop the zip tie right off. I love it. So you know, I really try to think about if, if, if you're actually going to carry it, and I, I think there's enough there that you might be able to justify it. You don't have to take a chunk out of your blade. Yeah, in order exactly. To open a zip tie. Exactly. No, that's cool. I think so. The pocket clip is basically integrated into. Mm -hmm. Into the okay, yeah, that's pretty neat. It also has a bottle opener. Um, it's kind of a stone wash finish. Got a Gerber logo there, and a pretty hefty keyring as well. Nice heavy keyring. That's so, the other thing is, is like you could actually like if you wanted to carry it, it's like it comes ready right. to carry. So I don't really like like a bunch of keyrings in my pocket, but if you have like one good one that kind yeah. of carries everything else, that's that's kind of the way to do it. So, dude. Thanks for that. That's yeah. pretty cool. All right. <laughs> so that's the Gerber mullet, right? Gerber mullet. Great uh, tool. I'm gonna test my knife knowledge here too. Okay. So we got a James knife with great packaging. Yep, of course, because James, they, they always have the packaging. No, no questions about it. Okay, this is just an experience in and of itself just to unbox this thing. So I'm, I think it pushes out this way. Okay, there we go. And then this slides out. Ooh, ooh, okay, all right. Maybe is this unscrew or is it just press? Oh, okay, it's just O-rings. And does it post? Yes, it does. Dude, this is cool. I don't know what this is called. What is this called? I actually can't remember the okay, name. Uh, of it. it's, it's a Stillwell. The Stillwell. 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 Okay. Stillwell. <laughs> so this is a James Brown Stillwell. Uh, it looks to just to be a ballpoint pen. Uh, it's mini, obviously, when you put it in your pocket like that. So that is definitely a plus. It is press fit in with O-rings, and it looks like the back is also postable, uh, depending on how you want to do it. So. Yeah, I found that if I drop the lanyard into the into the oh is that yep, oh okay. and then post yeah, it yep. yeah, yeah 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 exactly that's actually pretty dope because one thing I find with pocket pens is you want a small pen right but 
some brands, I think there was a there was like a a wee pen that we were showing a while back that wasn't postable. It was yeah. super small. Great pen, but you yes. couldn't post that cap. Yeah, exactly. So I was like, oh, I wish it was postable because then you have a full size pen yep. in your pocket, right? So this is super cool. Um, I don't I don't have a piece of paper to write on it with, but uh, it's a James brand, so it looks. Awesome, awesome, as pretty much every James Brand thing does. So that's super cool. So that's the James Brand Stillwell. Yeah, that's that's super dope, dude. And you've you've been mentioning pens kind of recently, and we use pens a lot here in the office. I know that you do a lot digitally on your phone as mm -hmm. well. So I was like, again, something compact, something simple, right? Yeah. Something that I think you'd actually carry. Yeah. <laughs> I think pens for me is more of a, a journaling tool. Yeah. So I'm always like looking like, okay, what's the best like thing I can do. Like I have like a fountain pen, but that's really, really great for travel. So I need something that's not, yeah. you know, that type of thing to take in an airplane and that type of thing. So. And that's what I was thinking with this is where it closes up, right? Like you also, yeah. you also aren't, aren't messing up the end in your pocket or in your bag or whatever. So, so that's cool. That's cool. super dope. Super dope. And that packaging is just fantastic. So. Right. Yeah. And I think that goes for $50 on the website, if okay. I remember correctly. It's not terrible as far as pens go either. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, a lot more than like a Bic, but you know, as yeah. far as like fancy pens go, it's if pretty you're, If you're a Bic guy, yeah. it might not be for you. Yeah, it might not be for you. <laughs> as far as pens goes, that's actually not that, not that yeah, terrible. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I see a Kershaw here. That's correct. Okay, mm I'm not gonna look at the, the name. Yeah, don't I should look at the be name. able to identify it. Yeah, oh, I, I, I think you'll recognize you it. You should probably fire me yeah. if I don't, <laughs> but. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. So we did a automatic knife video. Was it live? Yeah, it was live. It was, it was live. Last Friday, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, last Friday. So this is the launch 11. This was like my favorite. Launch 13. Or, yeah, sorry. Launch 13. <laughs> the launch 11, uh, it was like, it was my favorite before this one, especially. Correct. Yep. So uh, this is the launch 13. This has got some cool just design pops to it. I really like it. Um, I feel like a lot of people go for the launch 11, launch one, kind of those staple launch models. This probably isn't going to in, encroach on any of those territories, uh, but I really like the design of this. It has this cool Warren Cliff blade, this cool design pops. The pivot design is this triangle, and it's got this awesome little swedge ground into it. The pocket clip is super nice. Um, so that's the launch 13. I was crushing on it a lot in that live live video. Yep. So to see it here actually warms my heart. <laughs> it, dude, it is the season. And it's very rare that Jamie will like fully commit to crushing on a knife. Very, very, Jamie's very particular about his pocket knives, which is a good thing. Um, but yeah, definitely, uh, definitely when he was crushing on it so much, I was like, okay, we gotta work this in somehow. <laughs> I feel like I have like two knives a year. That's yeah. like, ooh. Two knives a year come that. out, but Jamie's just like, I gotta have it. So, so. Um, And this one is a little more of an expensive launch. This one goes for about 125 bucks, but I mean, there's a lot more machining yeah. work and stuff done on it. As far as like a high quality auto with Good steel, like good action, good steel, aluminum handles, like 115 ish dollars yeah. for it. Like, I think the reason it's more is because it has a little bit more milling, a little bit more design work than your typical launch knife, but it's still a very reasonable price for a high quality automatic. Yep. So, for sure. That's the launch 13. Cool. Right on. And then there's, there's two other little trinkets in there because I just wasn't sure, but I, I thought maybe you would, you would dig, dig this. So they're flitanium oh, pieces. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. I was like, what is this for? Okay, so there's a brass thumb stud kit for the bug out. So I have, I actually don't have it on me. I put a different one because I've been showing the bug out. <laughs> <a lot. laughs> so I have a CF Elite uh, black bug out. So this is actually kind of nice to put just like a gold uh, touch yeah, a, and a brass and I, touch to it. I figure you could put it on your mini, you could put it on your regular because the backspacer is actually for the mini. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. So the, the backspacer, it's a, it's a brass backspacer. Well, which is also black, so it's the same, same type of deal. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. That's... If you want, you could add a little, little color, pop of color to your favorite knife. I like that. I like that a lot because uh, it's, it's like really sterile black right now. Yeah. So to give it just a little bit of little, – I like accents. Accents are cool. So. Yeah. Cool. Dude, that's awesome. And then, of course, I got some candy. I won't put this uh, hole in my mouth like Kurt did because you should yeah. probably unwrap it first. <laughs> or like but... George eating Starburst, <laughs> which is <laughs> – I love it. <laughs> but uh, thank you. Oh, I got a peanut butter cup in there too. So that's yeah. pretty much all that matters. No, for sure. So. For sure. Now, I, I, there's something that you constantly are asking for here at Blade HQ. We're always doing projects. We're always building stuff. We're always doing things. And uh, we're always using my tools. So I, oh, I finally I finally boy. just got Jamie something to, to cure, cure what else. You might as well just dump it out. Might as well just dump it out. Oh, yeah. I also got you a, uh, instead of a fruit, I got you a vegetable. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I want to make sure it's it's like stuck in the toe. What? 
Oh, don't worry. Like 7,000 pieces. Yeah, don't worry. It's good. Yes. Oh, oh, okay. There's an onion in here. That's, yeah, that's your apple. <laughs> Is this a Bob the Builder tool set? Uh, it's a, it's a, I'll have you know it's a Black & Decker tool oh. set. Oh, so you really went for I it. I really went out. I mean, you got a saw, you got a hammer, uh, pull the trigger on the drill, fully <laughs> operational drill, and it has two bits. You can pull that bit out and put the other bit in. Yeah, so when you drive your screw in, it will actually take it out for you. Exactly, it will drive same, it yeah. and take it out at the same time. It's super useful. Exactly. I have a saw so I can cut my onion, <laughs> which is probably the best way to do it. Oh, I got an extra bit yep. for the drill. Yep. So that's, I mean, I can do everything now. Um, if I need to do a little bit, uh, well, what size is this wrench? Uh, um, it looks like it's probably a, what, a 12? Mm. No, like a 13, 14? I think it's a, uh, it says uh, Jack Specific Incorporated size. Ah, so that's, it's... it is the Jack Specific standard, I forgot. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> but it is Black & Decker, so there's that. And uh, a hammer, so when Adobe Premiere acts up, I can... Exactly, you can, t uh, you, you can, can fix take it. Care of that. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go, buddy. I thought, uh, I thought you would enjoy having some, some, some tools now. Dude, this is the best Christmas I've had so far. <laughs> I'm excited. Right on. I'm gonna do some work with this. <laughs> now I forgot with Taylor, um, so I apologize to Taylor. But uh, we are we do want to see what's in your pocket. So what are you carrying today? Especially mm. since you said you don't have a bug out. I don't have a bug out. I okay. did that for a very specific reason. So I haven't carried this in a while, and you can't get this. So I'm going with the exclusive train. Oh, okay, okay. So this is oh, a yeah. ZT0560. So this has been long discontinued mm -hmm. uh, for quite a few years now. Um, but this is a knife that my brother got me. Probably about a year before I moved to Blade HQ, and it's in my collection. It will never leave my collection. I'll, cool. It'll be there till the day I die. So, this is a ZT0560. I like it a lot. It's a little bit bigger for me. Uh, I feel like I was more into big knives kind of back in the day, so I've kind of moved it a little bit more slim, light, pocket carry type thing. Uh, but yeah, just a nice, chunky knife. Awesome. And ZT. So, yeah, great knife. What you got? Great knife. Uh, I have, I think this knife's actually really dirty. Oh yeah, <laughs> I have uh, I have my Saw uh, Pentagon XR. You've been carrying that a lot lately, dude. This is a great knife. This is an absolutely great knife. Um, or SOG. I apologize. SOG. I'm gonna I'm gonna get it right one day. Um, so this is my SOG Pentagon XR. Uh, it's just a cool knife. It's got this, you know, it's a uh, ground at the tip, but not all the way up the back here. So it's like kind of a dagger just at the yeah, end. Yeah, it's got that. Uh, what do they call it? Like I can't a shark tooth. Or, yeah, shark tooth. I can't remember or something what they like call that. It. I can't remember either. But nice pocket clip. And the thing is with this is it is so dang smooth. Like it's just like around the holiday season, around HQ, you know, things can get a little stressful and this is just such a good fidget knife. One thing that SOG does with their XR locks, they do some voodoo magic in there that prevents the blade from bouncing. Mm -hmm. So it just like, there's just like this not nice soft cushion when you flick it closed yep. and it just captures it and it goes straight in. So you don't have to worry about it like bouncing, you know, when yep. it hits the stop pin or whatever. Exactly, yeah, so anyways, uh, Sog Pentagon XR, I've really been enjoying that knife. All right, cool. Um, well, guys, <laughs> hopefully that you've seen a few EDC items on the table that have caught your eye that you may throw into a stocking, may pick up for yourself. Um, lots of fun stuff. I think actually Flytanium is like one of the best knife guy stocking stuffers, right? Like yeah. if you know somebody who has a knife and they really love that knife, Flytanium has so many different little accessories that are so easy to just gift a knife guy that they'll be really stoked about. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, we have a fun giveaway at the end of this thing. So um, we can't do all these, uh, we can't do all of these stockings without giving you guys a chance to get a stocking as well. So um, we are going to, I'm gonna build this thing right in front of you right now. We are going to, of course, put a bunch of candy in this oh, stocking. That one's broken. I know, I'm sorry guys. It's gonna get shipped out. It was gonna get broken anyway, so please forgive me. It'll taste the same. <laughs> so we're gonna put uh, a bunch of candy in there. We're gonna put an orange in there, uh, cause like my mom said, it, that's the, how you justify eating all of the sugar on Christmas day is at least you have one uh, fruit and or vegetable. We have these really cool new shop mats. These are Blade HQ only silicone shop mats in a bunch of different colors. So we're gonna put a silicone shop mat in this bad boy. I'm gonna roll it up real quick. Okay, uh, we are gonna throw, uh, before I get to the knives, before I get to the knives, a uh, bunch of Blade HQ stickers. We're gonna put some Blade HQ pin back pins in there because I really like these. <laughs> We're gonna throw a CRKT Burgundy CEO, so the same one that I got. Um, I knew this was going in the stocking, but I didn't know that's what I was getting. So we have, move this. So we have 
that Burgundy CEO that's going to go into the mix. And I'll make sure all this is packaged up nice and, and clean for you guys. Um, we are going to throw in this light from 4 Sevens that I got Taylor. So we're going to throw in that copper light that we got Taylor from uh, 4 Seven uh, Company, brand new company at Blade HQ. Um, we are going to throw in yes. what I know everybody wants for Christmas. And I don't think there's any on the site right now. So this is probably the only way you're going to get one. Not just for Christmas. Forever. Anytime. Yeah, forever. We're going to throw in the illustrious Boker Mermaid because it's Christmas time. And we're going to hook you guys up. She's beautiful. She's just, yeah. Answer the siren's call. Guys, if you can't tell, this is an epic stocking. This is basically Christmas right here. This is an epic stocking. And then, to top it all off, and you can't get any of these right now either, we are going to throw in, I don't know if you guys have seen this or not, but we have some M4 Natural G10 Osbournes that recently sold out. And we're going to throw one of these bad boys in the stocking too. So we are. Uh, we wish we could give every single one of you a stocking that had all of this stuff in it. Unfortunately, we can't. So uh, there should be a link in the description uh, or a link down in the comments. If you don't see it, hit refresh, you'll see it. And you can go enter that, the giveaways for the next three days. So jump on, fill out the form for the giveaway, and win yourself a epic knife stocking from Blade HQ. <laughs> Uh, hope you guys had a fun time. This was kind of a wild one for us. We just thought, hey, you know what? It's almost Christmas. Let's just have a good time. Let's talk some fun EDC items. We don't do that often on Knife Banter. And uh, yeah, I think it was a, it was just a blast. Jamie, are you happy with what uh, what you got in your stuff? I am super happy. I'm excited to get to work with my new tools. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, I'm um, expecting a new, we're going to build a new set now that Jamie has tools. And... Yeah, and uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. Is this like the in-between between like a nice gift and coal? Correct. That is exactly what okay. it is. So it's, like the, it's like the middle ground. <laughs> it's the middle ground. Okay, perfect. <laughs> So I've been awesome. kind of an okay person. Yeah, yeah, you've been you've been fine. Great. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, we hope you guys are having a, a good end of what has been kind of a not great year. And uh, we, uh, yeah. I think that's all we got. Yep. So Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, all that stuff. We've got more content coming your way. Make sure to subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. 